In this video, we're going to be covering how to determine your best mediumship psychic sense skills easy. Hi everyone, this is Carol Nicholson from Imagine Spirit. We're going to be presenting a step-by-step -step guide for successfully increasing your spirit communication skills. So let's get started. Mediumistic skills are like any other skill. Significantly, Everyone has inherent spirit communication abilities to some degree. Through training and experience, these skills are developed and refined into a consistent set of reliable steps for making spirit contact. Although many don't realize it, most people have had some kind of contact with the spirit world. This contact can manifest as a persistent feeling that a spiritual entity is present to relay messages to getting advice from loved ones who have passed to the higher side via a familiar voice, objects moved, or a knowing that's just there. These encounters, whether by intent or happenstance, can occur in a variety of ways. For example, they present as a feeling, a gentle touch, a familiar scent, or a strong sense there's a presence that feels warm and comforting close by you. So whether you want to contact someone you know in spirit, help others by giving spirit messages, or just to see if you can do it, there are numerous psychic development techniques that anyone serious about spirit communication can master. So let's discuss how it's possible that spirit connections can take place. The answer is basic physics. Simply put, as an energetic being and element of the universe, you're already linked to its energy. You are already plugged in. As mentioned, while everyone has some ability to connect with the other side, there are individuals who seem to be more open to these connections than others, and they're strongly aware when these connections take place. The following exercise is designed to help you identify and increase the level of proficiency of your psychic senses. In this meditation, you'll be meeting a spirit visitor. It's best at this time not to call in someone you know or desperately wish to communicate with. It will only hold you back from success. Additionally, if a loved one does happen to come to you, this may cause emotional feelings to overcome you. Gently let this person go for now and ask for someone else to come in. It could be a spirit guide, an angel, or someone you've not met before. Keep an open mind. So let's begin the exercise. Find a secluded place where you won't be interrupted. Take three deep relaxing breaths through your nose and out your mouth. Focus on your first breath to clear your body. The second breath to open your mind and the third breath to free your spirit. Now, consciously form the thought, this is my time to be one with the energetic powers of the universe and for these energetic powers to be one with me. Your next step, which is highly important, is to set an intent for exploring spirit contact using all your psychic senses. Now see yourself sitting on a bench in a beautiful garden. Around you are vibrant flowers and trees, with the air around you smelling fresh and clean. You know that you are highly protected in this garden, in that only higher energy spirits can connect with you. You are now ready to receive a spirit visitor.
in the distance you notice a spirit visitor approaching. Allow your first psychic sense that is activated to open more fully. What do you notice first? Is it a voice, a sound, a tingly sense that the spirit is present, or perhaps you notice a pleasant smell? What do you notice first? Now file this revelation away in your consciousness. Now welcome your spirit visitor and communicate to him or her using the psychical sense that feels most natural. Now push the psychic sense, meaning really focus on the sense, to use it to the fullest capacity that you are capable of at this time. If nothing happens and you begin to feel frustrated, this is a key indication that you're trying too hard. Clearly, your conscious mind is trying to take over. If this occurs, back away and repeat this part again until you are comfortable and relaxed once more. Next, choose another psychic sense. If your initial sense that popped in was clairaudience, the psychic sense of clear hearing, choose clairvoyance, the psychic sense of clear seeing. Concentrate on perceiving visual images associated with your spirit visitor in your inner mind. Rather than focusing strongly on these images, let them appear or disappear the way they naturally come into your mind. Often visual images are just fragments or bits and pieces. This is common for beginner mediums. In time, they'll become clearer. At this point, you can work with any other psychic senses such as clear cognizance, clear knowing, clear sentience, clear feeling or sensing, or clear audience, clear smelling. All the while, your spirit visitor is patiently waiting to give you a message. Determine the best psychic sense that you are receiving the messages with. At first, this may seem difficult, but if practiced enough, you'll begin to rely on the psychic sense that is strongest. Just know that this sense can change to another over time. When working with our psychic senses, they are always growing and evolving. When you feel complete with the message, Gently release the concentration you are using to activate your psychic sense. Now return to the sense that was first activated and use this sense to communicate thank you and goodbye to the spirit that came through. Finally, being highly conscious of your breathing Take three more deep breaths through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Open your eyes and touch something to ensure you are fully awake and aware. This is the end of this meditation. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future videos. And check the link 
for the blog so that you can leave a comment if you have any questions. To download the worksheet for this meditation, click the link to our blog in the description below.